Hi, I'm here today to review. It's Tonars. It's their portable formaldehyde detector. So I'm going to show you the right way here. Um, with sound, light, and alarm available on Amazon. And I was asked to review this. Let me tell you, I've never been so excited. <laughs> and you're probably like, why? Right? Because I'm odd. I love science. Um, you know, I was a nurse forever. I'm literally allergic to everything, very sensitive to chemicals. Um, I have clothing. My poor mom, she loves to buy me clothes because she likes to clothes shop. So she'll buy me clothing, and even though it says 100% cotton, I just touch it and it shuts my throat. I can smell it. I can taste it. Um, the chemicals they process um, clothing with. You know, I was told by a seller that they size, I use the size, I use the little air quotes, materials, including your expensive leather in formaldehyde and other poisonous chemicals. There are known carcinogenic chemicals. And for some reason, things that we're not allowed to ingest or have, they can process and not tell you about it. And so it's very important. I was really excited to get this because normally it'd be like you have to hire a company. They come out and do readings in your home. Is your home making you sick? And I know my home makes me sick. I mean, I'm allergic to um, a lot of the stuff. Every phone, by the way, is going to have a chemical in it. Every phone. Um, you, even the natural phones will have some type of chemical in it um, to do the whole, you know, adherence, you know, types of bonding type of situation. And they just don't take it and just stick together to make a foam, you know, so <laughs> um, chemicals are used. And I finally found a site that breaks that down. But anyhow, so when I got this, my husband's in construction, and then me and my insane allergies and my nursing background, I was like giddy like a schoolgirl. Um, immediately read the directions, and so the next day we all went out shopping. So we went to furniture stores. I did outside readings on busy streets because um, with the breakdown of gas and lead, you're going to get formaldehyde in the exhaust, believe it or not, and you can get the readings on the street. So I went on busy streets and did readings. <laughs> went to furniture stores did, um, and then around the mattresses and did readings. And yes, the foam mattresses did have higher readings of formaldehyde. Sorry to tell you. Um, and then we went uh, to our local Lowe's Home Improvement Store, uh, you know, beknownst to them. And we walked around and we did readings. And kudos to them. They keep their place well ventilated. So we didn't really get that high of readings, um, even in the areas with the pressure treated lumber and everything. So I was, I was really, I was really happy about that. Um, I will tell you that we went into one furniture store here in Jacksonville, North Carolina, and the reading was so high. Um, I didn't write it down. For the, I wrote down my blog about this, but it was like um, 0 0.936 or something parts per million. And um, that's way above the OSHA standard for healthy to work in. Let's say I, I, I did a lot of research. I always do. it. I'm one of those people. And I went to many sites, the EPA and the OSHA sites. And OSHA will allow workers to work in an environment um, up to eight hours, they call it weighted hours, of 0 0.75 parts per million. So this man in the store, we had been talking to this worker for a while, had gone around, because, you know, we are going to need a furniture soon, so we're shopping and, you know, playing with everything and, you know, hitting the cushions, because you want to measure the air. So you want to hit the cushions, you want to hit the mattresses, get things moving in the air, and then you wait. You believe it or not, you'll see this, the level cries, it's, you know, rise as you're doing it. So it's pretty impressive. And it was dangerous. The thing was, I had the alarm turned off, but the vibration's still on. You can turn on and off your alarms that you want. And it was like alarming red and high and vibrating of a storm. And I show him, I took a picture because it was up so high and um, he was really worried. I said, you contact OSHA because the only person who's going to care about you and in your working environment is you. Company's not going to care. I don't care what they say. They're not going to care. Legal's not going to hear about it. Um, don't ever go to your boss. You, when you get a readings like this, they'll try and cover things up or all of a sudden you'll get fired for some unknown reason. You just contact OSHA anonymously say this is the readings I'm getting please come down and check out my work environment and then you're covered so that's the key right there so we're going to go ahead it requires three AAA batteries they are not included very easy to put them in obviously um, no tool required if you have a small tripod you can attach it to the back so it'll stand up while you're testing because like I said if you want to test your room you want to see the reading you know the readings are you can put it up so it's not, not lying down on the tripod you don't have to you can lay it down you know face up and go around and start hitting your couch cushions or you know moving your rug around 
just to see, you know, what's causing, because let's say you want to switch out your insulation for healthier insulation. Um, you weren't sure about that couch. You know, some of the newer products, believe it or not, are going to have more chemicals in them than the older products. Newer homes will have more chemicals in them than old homes, which it's really odd because they treat the lumber more now than they did then, and they're not allowing it to dry, and they're putting it directly into the homes. They're building so fast. So you're going to have more chemicals in that. So you're going to go ahead and turn it on here, and it's going to count down. If I hold it, I don't know if you can see the glare. It counts down from 10 to, um, no, I can't really get it so you can see it. There we go. From 10 to 0. And then it'll beep in on the reading in the room. You'll see it climbing up. So we're at we're at point one four four. So now I'm at see I have a little bit in this house. I'm at zero point two one six. And then it'll go up and down as it reads the air. And that is my low alarm. You have alarms you can set. And um I left it where it came. You know, I really don't. You really can't find a chart of readings. I, I was tried really hard, and you'll and when you research, you'll find contradictory statements. Um, so I went by the you know that if OSHA if it'll allow you up to eight hours and 0.75, that probably isn't that good. <laughs> so I do know toll workers can only work for a certain amount of time. Now I know why it's the readings. We did get um, not as high as in that furniture store, but we did get readings of almost like 0.4 outside on busy roads with the cars. So I thought it was interesting. So you can do that. And then down here, I'm sure it's hard to see with the glare and I can't turn that light off, but down here you'll have the temperature reading. And so it comes on automatically in Celsius. You can't set it to stay in Fahrenheit. So what you do is, um, I gotta remember which button now I'm talking. Okay, you're just going to press, here we go, you're just going to press this um, arrow button once, and it'll switch that bottom to Fahrenheit, and even though my air conditioning's on, it's been so hot here, your air conditioner work harder, I technically have the air conditioning on 74, but in this room right now, it's at 79.4 degrees, and I believe it, even with my sweater, I'm always cold, so, and then at the high, so it's at lowest set at 0 0.1 and my high set at 0 0.3. So if it was over 0 0.3, you're going to start to see this light flash in the yellow. It'll flash red and it'll go down here where it says low and it'll words will turn into high. So it'll actually tell you. And you can go ahead and set the, you, know, the, you can change the settings. Um, this I have vibrate on. But otherwise, it'd be beeping. Beep. It's really loud and obnoxious. So I turned the alarm off before I went out in public. But I left the vibration on because I just wanted to know. You can also set your timer auto off. I set it for 30 minutes. So every 30 minutes when we were out walking around, it would just turn off on me, which is fine. And it tells you your battery power you have left. And it doesn't use as much batteries as I thought. Because even after being out and about and testing everybody, I'm still on the same set of batteries. So it's pretty amazing. So if you want to... Go ahead and go to your menu. You're going to press it once, the power button, and it's going on, on the top. You're going to see auto off. If you wanted that one to change, you're going to check here, and then you can use your up and down arrows to change the times. And this will go back. That's your back button. It has that regular, and you're going to press it. And then you're going to go down to alarm. And then this is your select button, the arrow button. You're going to select it, and then you can scroll off. It says um, alarm low, alarm high, and you would, whenever you want to pick one, like it's on alarm high, I would pick it, and then it's set at 0 0.1. I could change it if I wanted to, um, and back and forth. But I don't, I'm not going to change that, and that's all you do. So it's pretty simple. This is your return button. One turn returns you to the list. The second turn is going to return you to the main list, and then that third one returns you back to the screen. So it's pretty simple. I mean, that's really all you do. And it's um, very important to know uh, what can formaldehyde do. It's a known carcinogenic substance. Um, it could do like it does for me. I get, I get, I get highly itchy rashes. Um, it gives me an asthma attack, and then I'm having anaphylactic reactions. So if I get clothing that has been treated in the formaldehyde, um, that's what happens to me. My poor mom, like I said, I literally open up, touch it, and sometimes I'll throw it. <laughs> it's too late wash my hands, I scrub and scrub, and it's too late. It's, it's, it just completely shuts me up. It's horrible. So um, it can do that. <laughs> and it can cause asthma. Um, FEMA 
well, they don't know if they were actually were allowed to be sued. Well, during Katrina, they rushed all the mobile homes. Mobile homes are famous for high formaldehyde kind, kind, counts. Excuse me. So if you have one, please test your test your environment, especially if you're pregnant or have small kids, because these kids are developing asthma left and right, um, all kinds of breathing conditions. Um, you know, it can be sinus infections, respiratory conditions. You know. Obviously, cancer, it's a carcinogenic um, substance. It's not something to fool with. It takes you a second to do a reading, go through your home. I did do readings um, at Lowe's. I went from untreated lumber to treated lumber. Of course, it climbed at the treated lumber. I went to insulation, it was pretty high. Um, not as high as that one furniture store, but pretty high. And then I went to the healthy insulation, and we even hit that around and went down. Not a lot. I really couldn't get, and I didn't want to. Regular insulation is fiberglass. I really didn't want to hit it too much, you know, because I didn't think about it. Either my husband didn't have a mask or glasses. We weren't going to do that. And my son was with us. So <laughs> we moved the bag around a little. So it could have gone higher if we were able to hit it and get into it, but we didn't because most of it's wrapped up. Um, one bag of the healthy insulation had been open, so we were able to balance it, and the fibers went around. And it was still only, um, I, think, I can't remember now, if it was like it is here now at 0 0.167 or just a little over 0 0.2. Um, but it was definitely lower than regular insulation. Not as low as I thought it would be, but definitely lower. But then they were also in the lows with everything else. And they put all their construction materials, you know, close to each other. But it was interesting to see because even the pressure treated lumber, it just kept slowly climbing and climbing and climbing as I held it up to it. So that was pretty interesting. Um, carpets, didn't like carpets. <laughs> they weren't as bad as the insulation. You know, believe it or not, most of the carpets that we went around and tested. And drywall was actually really low. Um, so it was just, like I said, fascinating to see going through the, the hardware store. So, you know, and I took pictures of readings with the machine. That's of course going to be on my blog. So, but you know, I don't have a machine to test the machine. So, um, is it very accurate? I don't know. Did it always give me the same level reading everywhere? No, I, 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 I am assuming it, I'm hoping it's accurate. Um, it's giving me the kind of readings I expected, if that makes sense. You know, I was shocked and a little horrified to be in the furniture store knowing the readings were going up, up in the high nines. And um, when the when their ventilation system kicked on, I said to him, when, when the ventilation system wasn't, I was a little lower. So he's inhaling that daily. And the poor man's been working there since 1995. So he's terrified. So he's actually contacting OSHA. So if he has any long-term conditions, he can be covered under um, the insurance the company they made to cover him. So... Because it could be a sick building. A lot of people work in sick buildings that don't even realize it. So, I mean, for the price of this, you know, anything under a hundred bucks that's going to potentially, you know, increase your your health is cheap nowadays. So, I mean, easy to operate, um, fun to use. You know, I feel like a detective too, roundabout. Um, and it could it'll help you easily eliminate some dangers in your home without having to hire a really expensive professional. So before. I could never did our readings. I couldn't do it or test out certain things. And I'd always been curious. I mean, obviously I have to because I'm allergic, but um, it's absolutely fascinating. So um, I love it. Love the machine. I have no um, issues with it at all. And I definitely recommend, I, you know, I'm one of those people. I recommend every household do it. So thanks.